Hello students in this particular video we understand data science project life cycle the complete life cycle of a data science project is shown below define the goal identify the problem to be solved collect and manage data identify the information needed build a model find patterns in the data that leads to the solution evaluate model validate whether the model solves the problem Present results and document establish how the problem can be solved. Deploy model deploy the model to solve the problem in the real world. Step 1 define the goal. The first and foremost step in any project is to define a clear goal. Hence at this point it is important to learn every minute detail about the project such as why is the project being started? What is missing currently and what exactly is required? What are they currently doing to fix the problem and why isn't it working? What all resources are needed? What kind of data is available? Is domain expertise available within the team? What are the computational resources available required? How does the business organization plan to deploy the derived results? What kind of problems need to be addressed for successful deployment? Bad loan use case define the goal. The goal is to lessen the bank's losses caused by bad loans. To do this the firm intends to create a tool to help the bank's loan officers to improve their accuracy in identifying bad loan applicants thereby lowering the number of bad loans being authorized. For this purpose the goal defined should be to the point and unambiguous For example a goal which states we want to reduce the rate of loan charge offs by at least 10% using a model which predicts whether loan applicants are likely to default is preferred over we want to get better at finding bad loans Step 2 collect and manage data Now that the goal has been set the next step is to find explore and clean the data necessary for analysis this stage takes up a lot of time but helps in finding answers to many important questions such as what all data is available will it help in solving the problem is the data enough to carry out analysis is the quality of data up to the mark bad loan use case collect and manage data collect the data about each loan application with relevant attributes such as status of loan duration credit history of the applicant present employment status residing at an address since number of dependents and the number of active loans under the applicant's name collect the data across a reasonable span of time such as 1 year or 1 decade conduct initial exploration using data visualization and summary statistics and clean the data while refining the data it may so happen that the data identified earlier turns out to be not adequate to perform the analysis there might also be a situation wherein we encounter various new problematic areas within the data which we disregarded as not being a problem at all previously for example if the data set we took contained most of the defaulters or just a few defaulters Our analysis may result in a biased conclusion. Step 3: Build a model. Once the data is ready, the next step is to find meaningful insights from the data. Depending on the nature of the business problem we are dealing with, we can make use of any of the following data modeling techniques to gather such insights. Classification: Determining which among the given categories a data point falls under. Scoring: predicting or estimating a quantifiable value ranking ordering the data points depending on the priorities involved clustering grouping similar items based on certain parameters finding relations finding associations between various features of the data characterization creating plots graphs and various reports for understanding the data better bad loan use case build a model In the bank scenario the problem we are dealing with is classification we wish to classify bank customers who apply for loans as probable defaulters or non defaulters hence 
We need to train our model in such a way that it covers the entire range of the available data, thus enabling it to learn about most of the probable loan defaulter cases. Given the preceding requirement, we decide on a suitable approach to build the model. We can choose from either logistic regression, naive Bayes, k nearest neighbors or decision trees, among other available classification techniques. We also need to be aware of why a model is taking a particular decision and how confident it is in its prediction. Ultimately, our model should be able to answer the question how likely is an applicant to be a defaulter? Step 4. Model Evaluation Now that we have built our model, we need to determine whether it meets our goals by asking the following questions. Is the model accurate enough for our needs? Does the model meet the expectations? Is it better than the methodology being currently used? If for either of the above questions, the answer is no, we need to revisit the previous steps. Bad Loan Use Case Model Evaluation Check whether the evaluation parameters from the suggested model apply in our scenario. Proceed to calculate the model evaluation parameters, such as accuracy and precision, based on the predefined rules and observe how many predicted values match the actual values. Step 5. Present Results and Document At this stage we have achieved a desirable model. A model that meets all the requirements and goals we set for ourselves at the beginning of the project. The next step is to showcase the project to various audience as follows. Present the details of the model to all the collaborators, clients and sponsors. Provide everyone in charge of usage and maintenance of the model, once deployed, with documentation that covers all aspects of the working of the model. We must keep in mind that each group of people involved in the project require different kind of treatment when it comes to presentations and providing documentation. Hence, specific data visualization techniques must be used for each of them. What might work for one audience might not work for the other. Bad loan use case, present results, and document. In the bad loan scenario, we need to showcase the efficacy of our model to the bank officials. For example, if our model is able to identify a set of bad loans that amount to 36% of the total money lost to defaulters, we need to emphasize the same in the executive summary. In addition to this, any interesting insights uncovered such as, new auto loans are more riskier than used auto loans, or less losses are tied to home loans, must also be presented. Step 6. Deploy Model The last and final step is to deploy the model. Usually from this point ahead the data scientist is no longer associated with the operations of the model. But before they are off the job they must make sure that the following are in place. The model has been tested thoroughly and generalized well. The model should be able to adjust well to unforeseen environmental changes. The model has been deployed in a pilot program and any problems that cropped up in the last moment were taken care of by updating the model accordingly. Bad Loan Use Case Deploy Model There may arise a situation wherein experienced loan officers might veto the decision taken by the model that we created as it opposes their instincts. Hence, we need to be always on the lookout for which is correct, our model or their intuition. Thank you friends.